Happy New Year, everyone. Well, at least it's a new year at the time of this recording. We don't know when you'll actually be watching this, but what better way to start a new year than by setting yearly goals for your team? So today we'll be looking at just how you can do that inside Microsoft Teams using TeamFlick. And we'll be covering this through multiple different angles. We'll be looking at how you can create company, department, and individual goals, and how you can customize each and every aspect of those goals. We'll also be covering how you can keep track of those goals throughout the year. So without further ado, let's dive right in. We're going to start things off from a manager's point of view. This is Benny's account, and we're going to head over to the goals module. As you can see right here, we can see all the goals related to ourselves, our team, departmental goals, and if we actually click on it, they'll be separated according to department, and of course, company goals. Right here, we have a company goal created by none other than our CEO, Sarah Wilson. And it is a relatively straightforward company goal. And it is increase overall revenue by 15% by the end of the year. So as a manager right now, my job is to create individual and departmental goals that are related to this particular overarching company goal. So let's do just that. Let's create a department goal. I'm selecting two people from my department. And this is a goal own, they own together, not separately, right? We'll give it a title, a description. Now, we can select how this goal will be measured. And again, this is very straightforward. So this will be measured by whether it's completed or not completed. And right here, we have the option to select a parent goal for this goal. And the parent goal is the company goal we just looked at together. And we can set a date. And this ends by the end of the year because this is a yearly goal. And we can adjust its related group or visibility. And once we click create, our department goal is now live. This is what a finished goal looks like inside TeamFlect. As you can see, we have lots of information related to the goal right here, including the parent goal. Now, Let's close this one and head to the department section. And right here, by selecting our department, we can view the goal we just created together. But remember, our work here isn't done yet. Now, let's create individual goals for everyone in our department. And now, in the, the individual goal is already selected. And let's start with Hakan. And his goal is improve fuel efficiency by 10%. Let's give it a description. Now, since this goal is about a percentage, then it should be measured via percentage. Let's give him a target percentage of 10 and start setting dates. It starts January 1st and ends by the end of the year. We can select a related group or visibility, but let's not do that. And once we click create, Hotcom's individual goal is now live. But just because it is live doesn't mean we can't customize it any further. If you want to, we can add a goal label here. And this should be a high priority goal for him. We can relate it to a parent goal like we did before, or we can create related tasks to this goal and let's do just that. So this is this should be implement a fuel monitoring software. And if we want to, we can give him a checklist for this task as well. And the due date for this task should not be the end of the year. So let's give him a due date. And we can adjust recurrency for this task as well. But once we click create, Hakan now has a related task for his goal. Now, now that Hakan's goal is finished, let's create a goal for someone else on our team. And that person is Janet. Let's create a new goal. Uh, once again, this is an individual goal. We're selecting Janet. Let's give the goal a title. We've been through this before. And a description as well. But for this one, let's do something different. We're going to be measuring the goal progress for this one through other sub goals. So, and we will be creating these sub goals once we have just everything for this goal. Again, let's select a due date by the end of the year. Visibility, everything is set. Let's click create. Now, as you can see inside the goal screen, we have the option to create sub goals. 
Currently, there are no sub goals related to this goal. But if I click Add New, we can start creating our sub goals or select existing goals to be sub goals for this one. So, reduce average delivery time by 15%. This is one of the sub goals. Uh, the parent goal is right here because this is a sub goal. And once again, this should be by the end of the year. Uh, once we click create, we have a sub goal for this goal now. And let's add another one for good measure. Once again, I'm selecting Janet. This time it's customer satisfaction score index by 15%. Uh, 15 points, sorry. <laughs> this is 25. Again, same thing. And once I click create, now Janet's goal for this year will be measured by how well she progresses through these sub goals. And if you want to, we can leave comments for this goal as she progresses throughout the year. We can attach files or click here to view progress updates. And just like that, everyone in our department has their goals. But is our work done? No, no, as you know, setting the yearly goals is just the beginning. Now it's time to start tracking them. Uh, we're heading into our team and if we select user view, we can, we can view the goal progression of everyone in our team individually. And look right here are the goals we just created together and we will be checking this regularly throughout the year. But this isn't the only way to view or track goal progress. Let's head into one of our meetings with Janet. This is a regular one-on-one -on -one, and let's join the meeting. We're firing up Microsoft Teams. We're selecting join. And as you can see on the top bar, we have the option for Team Flect. If you can't see it, all you have to do is click apps and then search for Team Flect and then select it. But let's fire up Team Flect. And once we do, we are greeted with Team Flect's meeting tool. Now this has plenty of useful meeting features, but the one we need right now is the option to see goals. This is where we can view Janet's goal progress across all of her goals. Right now it is filtered for active goals, but if we click all goals, we can see all the goals Janet owns, whether they're completed or not. And if we scroll down, we can see all the goals she hasn't started on yet. And this is just a great way to keep track of goals across all of your regular meetings and increase visibility. And if we click on a particular goal, we can see the details re related to it as well. The sub goals are right here and we can edit the weight of these, of these sub goals as well. But that overall is how you can create and keep track of all of your team's yearly goals inside Microsoft Teams using TeamFlect. We hope you found it helpful. TeamFlect, build teams that deliver.